bet you weren't expecting to see this video now, were you? So, it is December 5th, 2022, and I don't know when this movie posted, but I just need to, to talk. So, you remember at the beginning of the year, I was doing a couple Windows big... Windows sign dash in, sign the button to activate... Shut the I got Jaws. That scared the crap out of me, actually. <laughs> so, turns out my computer's not dead. Anyway... Um, so you remember at the beginning of the year, I was doing a couple book reviews because I was bored. I read the Twilight series, I read Divergent, did videos on both of those, and then stopped posting them. That kind of went from reading, well, Twilight popular, Divergent, I read it because my friend Alyssa was always making Divergent jokes and I didn't understand them. So I'm like, let's just read the book. So, then I stopped doing that because I read... Lock screen. I swear, this, this computer is gonna drive me nuts. Um, but took a break from that because I read some child books, some children's stories. Um, one of them I read the whole Gregor the Underlander series, and I didn't want to be posting that for, like, what, fourth grade or something? And I think, I think it's like a sixth grade, actually. And then, um, oh gosh, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting it. The Genius Files, uh... With Coke and Pepsi McDonald, dot, dot, yeah, I read that five book series as well, and that's my like grade four or five, something like that. So, didn't want to make videos on both of those when I'm like 20 reading kids' book. And the reason is because I ran out of stuff to read, and so I haven't read the Genius Files in forever. I used to read them all the time with my mom, um, so it's been about a good maybe four or five years. So, like, let's read it again. So, I read it again, and then the Gregor the Overlander series i thought there was only one book because i read the, the first one back in fifth grade and i found out it was a whole series of five books so i went and read the whole series of that then we're maybe on both of those so at the last part the last page of the last book of the genius files is called uh, license to drill and the whole point of the book is you know these two kids go on all these crazy things people trying to kill them as they go cross country from california to, to dc on a road trip and back from dc to california and their dad had this uh, this subplot of he he's a professor at san diego state or, or ucla or something like that one of those schools in california and he wants to be an author like a famous author like he wants his name next to jk rowling and uh, who was it? And Mark Twain. <laughs> he wants his name up there with the, all the big people. But he's a professor, so he wrote a book on how coal affects the Industrial Revolution. I'm surprised I still remember that. Don't worry, I'll get to the main part of this in a minute. I just have to explain the back story. And so that first book doesn't doesn't go well. I mean, who wants to read about coal on the Industrial Revolution? So this whole time he's like, hey, let's write one on Herman. Not Herman. Oh gosh, what's his name? The president of. Freaking! Oh my gosh, Harry Truman. That's who we tried to write the book on, and we tried to write one on I with Presley, and it all falls you So on the last page, they're like, "Hey, Dad, we could we were telling you all this stuff because we were trying to get killed if we were going on this trip." And he's like, "I could turn it into a book." So he turned it into a book. He used a pen named Dan Gutman, you know, who wrote the five book series, not the whole joke or whatever behind it. And so it shows a top sellers list. So you have license to on the list, all these other books. And then you have the book we're talking about, 13 Reasons Why. And I'm like, wait, 13 Reasons Why? Could I, I didn't know where the book, I know where the Netflix series. I have no clue where the book. Who is this Jay Asher fellow we speak of? So get the book because it gave a little synopsis. It sounds intriguing. And let me tell you, it is one of the best books in the whole world. So what is 13 Reasons Why about? And you're going to cut their chase, spoil everything. Because even if I do spoil everything, it's it's great. So, it always starts out that main character, Hannah Baker, she's dead. But she recorded these 13 audio tapes for 13 reasons why she committed suicide. And it takes you through all these different characters and stories. You don't know who they are. It's a fictional story. Written in 2007. So, I'm reading this 15 years later. And it's still such a good book. Like, um, I read one, the, the, like this article or whatever like a Q&A that the author did after the book and it was basically like oh yeah I use cassette tape because if you use if I were to use the like latest technology in 2007 by 2022 it all be outdated so you make something outdated even more outdated and the characters are like yeah I know cassette tapes and Walkman and headphones and stuff are old so then that makes it modern like up to date 
Um, it also said that it didn't really take place in really a town or city to the offer combined two places he lived in California and a town he lived in in Alabama. So interesting. But what did book about? So you have just the weirdest reason for, and it's just the snowball effect. One thing builds on top of another. So you have this guy named Ryan who steals Hannah's poetry. It's one of the reasons. He gets a whole, everyone gets a cassette tape dedicated to himself. Um, you have Alice, who made the dumb list of who's hot, who's not. That's one of the reasons. You have this girl named Jessica, who, uh, I forget what the first Jessica did. I, I honestly forget what Jessica did. Um, you have Jenny, who drove over a stop sign, which later led to, uh, two people getting in a car crash and one of them dying. You have Tyler, who would peep through her window and take pictures of her. You have Bryce, who's an absolute a-hole. I mean, he, he, um has his way with a girl, Jessica, actually, when she's asleep. He's just an absolute douchebag. Um, so what's that, six? You have... Oh, my gosh. Um, I went through this in the shower, because I'm like, I want to make it. Yeah, Justin, her first kiss, and then just sort of leaves her and spread these rumors. You have Zach, who, after break, after she goes on a date with Marcus, who's another one, so Marcus sort of stood her up at this diner and then he tried to grab her and kiss her or whatever she pushes him to the floor so after market we definitely zach comes over and tries to put the moves on her doesn't really go very well so that's what zach does um justin gets a second tape to himself so he's the only one that gets two of them because justin and hannah could have stopped bryce from um doing something to jessica but neither of them did so that's 10 you have Mr. Porter, the counselor, the guidance counselor, and her English teacher, who she tried to, was like her last step to ask for help before she um, ended it. And that didn't really go well. You know, counselors, they're, they're awful. Uh, no, that's a, that's a joke. A joke, a joke, a joke, a joke. Um, and Courtney. Yeah, Courtney. Um, this fake friend sort of used her. Like, oh, hey, we're all friends, but can you just give me a ride to this party? And the 13th reason is Clay, the main, ever main character to this story. Now, Clay is the only innocent one in this one. He's a sweetheart. He has a crush on Hannah. Hannah likes Clay, but it was just sort of too late. She already had it made, her mind made up, made up that, like, this is, this is not going to end well for me. So all these reasons just compiled on top of one another. And it's a, a suspense novel. It's really, really good. And honestly, it's like a top five book that I have read ever. And I, it's definitely the best book I've read in 2022. But ever is how far I'm willing to go. Because I've read a lot of books. And I was just thinking about this before I hit record. A couple things that come close to it is this book called Grace by Richard Paul Evans. Ooh, that book is so good. I think it's a real story. Where like, either, I think it's real, yeah. Where like, this girl, homeless, not good home life, runs away, her dad's abusive, um, in the same class as Grace, uh, Richard sort of takes her in, she, he's, she's living in their little playhouse in his backyard, sneaking her inside the house to get showers, bringing her food from Dairy Queen, uh, because that's where he works, and he, like, all the leftover food at the end of the day is supposed to get thrown away, but he brings her home and brings it to Grace, buys her his heater, for the uh, for the playhouse in the winter, and finally they get caught, and so Grace sort of gives Richard. If that's, I don't think it's real. I don't know if they changed the name of the book, or whatever. This one last look before they take Grace back to his, her parents, because her dad abused her. Her dad strangled her to death. So that was nice. He got arrested. And if it's a real story, it's like one of the hardest books to read emotionally. Because I just remember reading it a good eight something years ago, maybe ten. I don't remember when the last time I read it. I only read it once. And um, when I got done with it, I'm like, holy cow, that's this is something. Another uh, nonfiction story is called A Long Walk to Water, I believe it's called. It, two, it jumps back and forth between two different plots. You have this little boy who's running from water because I, I don't know, I think there's an invasion, like another country coming to siege his town or something 
And so it talks about how he runs away, he's on his own, no family, how he's making it through the wilderness, and he's looking for water, because, you know, you need water to live and everything. And then the other plot is this girl, like, in 2010, I think the first one is, like, in 85, and then this girl in 2010, they're building this well with water and all this stuff. And it's a, it's a really rural urban country that they're building as well in. So finally, you get to the end of the book, and the two stories overlap because the girl's like, oh, hi, my name's Jessica, or, or something, that just random name I picked out. Um, and he's like, what's your name? Oh, my name's Silva. And Silva, the name of the boy that was running to find water because the town got sieged or something so it's cool because it overlapped because the boy that was running to find water is now helping build wells in this town or a well in this town for these people to drink from so I really like that book but other than that I like uh, the first Harry Potter book The Sorcerer's Stone just because it's like lighthearted, easy also Harry Potter like is now everywhere for me and it strengthens my relationship friendship uh, with my friend Alyssa um but other than that, 13 Reasons Why it's an amazing book. And you should totally read it. I have not seen the Netflix show. I like 13 Reasons Why a lot better than Twilight. I really like Divergent. And 13 Reasons Why is right in it. But other than that, without thinking for a long period of time, um, 13 Reasons Why is one of my favorite. So, yeah, I read it. It's so freaking good. It's so good. It's like... There was multiple times where it's like, I need to sleep because it's school the next day, one thirty in the morning, I'm still listening to the book, and I'm like, I can't put this down. So, um, yeah, that, so good, so good. So, I hope you like this video, talking about 13 reasons why, I don't know what, the, oh, I actually do, the next book sort of video, don't know how often I'm going to make it, definitely going to be in 2023. It's going to be, so I mentioned Dan Gutman earlier, and how he wrote this book this book series called uh, um, The Genius Files and so he has another series a baseball called Adventures and it's for 4th through 7th grade but I just want to read through all the books there's 12 of them and talk about how ridiculous they are and how some of the subplots don't make sense alright cause he, he the premise is he has baseball cards travel through time want to change history like what if that did, did Babe Ruth really call his shot can we say Roberto Clemente from dying in a plane crash can I stop Mickey Mento from tripping over a, a drainage sewer something in a Yankee Stadium and tearing his ACL basically and never being Mickey Mantle like the good one uh can I stop the shot her around the world could this guy get a mean about it 50 years later <laughs> um just can I save Ray Chapman from dying from getting hit in the head by a baseball? Just stupid stuff like that. But you can't change history. And just all kind of ridiculous stuff. So I want to read through all the books. Can I read through them all before? Again, like over five years ago, easily. I want to read through all of them and be like, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever read. And try to make a bunch of jokes about it. So hope you enjoyed this video. That's the next book talk that's going to come out. And um, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye. Thanks. Ah, you dumb, dumb computer.